Hi Taurus, thanks for stopping by. We're gonna go ahead and get your energy for July 1st through the 7th, just to like a five minute reading. Um, this could be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So we're gonna go ahead and start off and see where your overall energy is, um, the overall theme for the week. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab two tarot cards, okay? So again, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising for the week of July 1st through 7th, 2021. So let's see, okay. So your overall energy here is wisdom. So you've gained some wisdom, tapping into your higher wisdom and uh, gain some clarity and insight on something. So let's see what else this is coming out for this, this theme. Yeah, success. Whatever this wisdom is, it's gonna make something successful. Um, you could have been in the dark for a while um, and you've gained this wisdom. You got some kind of clarity here and you've uh, really tapped into that higher wisdom, okay? So now we are going to get some current energy, current energy for Taurus. Again, sun, moon, rising for the week of July 1st through the 7th. What's the current energy? What's the current energy for Taurus? Okay. Oh, here we go. Nine of Wands. So something um, here is you've persevered through, but you feel like you're really beaten up. To gain this wisdom and get the success, you've really had to do a lot of work and it's really feeling you drained. You know, maybe a little bruised and battered, but you have persevered in getting through it. So, all right. So now we are going to get a person around you's energy. What's this person around you's energy this week? July 1st through the 7th with the sign of Taurus. Person around you's energy. What's this person that's, Taurus is connecting with this energy. First around Taurus's energy for the week of July 1st to the 7th. Okay, so they have the Empress, but it's reversed. So they um, could be not listening to their intuition, not really nurturing themselves, not really tapping into their creativity. You could be feeling a little lost. So whoever this person is, but you have, um, it looks like maybe through this person that you went through a lot of hell, or like went through hell with them, maybe trying to help them out or just like, you know, battling with them, not getting them to see things because they are like not in this creative energy. And uh, you, you know, you've gained some wisdom though, and you're gonna have success with something, whether it's this person or not. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's get some clarity on this person with this Empress reversed. Let's see, let's get some clarity. Why is this person in the Empress reversed? Seven of Pentacles. So it's something that, you know, some kind of belief they have, but they're not really believing in themselves. So they're really feeling kind of like down about something or not, you know, like not, they're not um, uh, worthy of something or very insecure about something. And I think you've really been trying to teach them, you know, that they do have it and you're trying to like be a friend and really coax them, but it's really beating you down. But there's going to be some kind of wisdom and success here. Oops, I got my success spot. There is going to be some kind of wisdom and success with it. So let's see about, let's get one more card on them. We're going to use a different deck with this Seven of Pentacles and Empress reversed. What else is going on with this person around you? Looks like you've been really supportive to them and it's just kind of draining you now because you can't get them to see, you know, something that they're good enough or, yeah. Okay, so with this person, yeah, look at this. Now we have the seven of, seven of Pentacles reversed. So they are like off balance here with uh, something they believe in. You know, they really believe in something, but they're not really like standing up for it because of some kind of hurt they've gotten, some kind of Three of Swords energy here. And what it's making them do is really beat themselves up. You know, not really nurture themselves and stuff. They're taking it personally. And you're really trying to push them forward and let them realize like, hey, it's not your you, it's kind of them. The other person that hurts you, it's not really you. Um, and you need to get out of it. You do have a lot of worth and deserve things. But th this whole energy is just, just kind of draining you now. But you are persevering, you're still sticking up there. And there is gonna be some kind of success and wisdom with this, okay? So, let's get some overall, I mean, the outcome. Let's see what the outcome is. Honestly, you know what I'm gonna ask again, because you're really, you're really devoted to this person. You're really trying to be a good friend to them, but they're just feeling really down in the dumps and taking something really personally after some hurt. So let's see, let's get some energy of like you with them. Are they, are they gonna get out of this energy? 
I mean, are you gonna be, we did get success, I think you are, but let's go ahead and see one more clarifying card. How's this gonna turn out, Spirit, with this person? That one fell away, okay. Five of Wands, see they're at conflict with themselves here. But I really do think that they're gonna come out of it. I'm hoping they will because you're just like really beaten up by it. They're really at conflict with this. Whatever happened to them just hurt. And you're just sitting here trying to be a good friend but it's just draining you at this point, you know? <laughs> Uh, but there's some kind of success. Let's see what the outcome is. We'll just go ahead and jump right into the outcome. We're going to get a card from each deck, the Lord's Oracle, and each tarot. So what's the outcome of the situation here involving Taurus in this week? Oh, yeah. There's going to be some kind of awakening here. Whether it's your part or theirs, I really think that there's going to be an awakening, clarity, and just, there's going to be something, a higher self message here and happiness. So things are going to turn around, it looks like. Okay, and let's see, get some tarot on this. Yeah, this is a, a person that you really feel connected to. Could be like a twin flame or soulmate. So that's why you're feeling beaten up. You don't want to see them unhappy, so yeah. And then there's the Four of Cups. They're, but see, they're just like, they are just really not, not accepting something. You know, you're sitting there telling them how great they are. You shouldn't take it personally. It wasn't your fault. Take it as a lesson. Whatever you're trying to do to give them advice and make them feel better, they are just not listening to it. And that's really making a burden for you. It's may really making you feel burdened and beat up about it. But you keep persevering, trying to get them out of it. So hopefully they will come around. But this week it looks like they're still just going to like kind of be kind of uh, feeling, you know, like not worthy or still in that hurt. I think they really had some kind of hurt here and you're trying to help them get out of it. So that's what it looks like your week's going to be, trying to help your person that you're involved with get out of this. And it's a person that you're really close to, like a soulmate connection here, whether that friend, relationship, whatever. Okay, so looks like you're just going to be sort of porting a friend this week. But that's your message, Taurus. Have a good week and I hope best of luck to that. Okay, take care. Bye.